Hey everyone, it's Mike with Jealous Lawn Care and I'm here to help you make your neighbors a little bit more jealous of your lawn. And today we're going to talk about lawn striping. And you could tell that this is the before picture. And you can already tell that I have quite a bit of jealousy from my neighbor without even the striping. But yeah, we're going to take it one step further and find out if we can make them even more jealous, right? Because that's what we love to do, make our neighbors jealous. This is what the stripes will look like from the other side. So this is also a very nice view from here. So right now the sun is kind of above us, so depending, so it's gonna have stripes both stripes both ways. If you're looking directly into the sun, you usually will not see any stripes. We're just gonna walk through today on how to do lawn striping. Uh, everybody knows what it is, and it's mainly made up of uh, grass that's pushed in different directions, you know, matted down. And it's just a matter of which way the light the, if the sun is behind you, you'll actually see it better than if the sun is not behind you. So that's why if you look at, you know, baseball fields, baseball fields, they have, they always have this uh, two different, two different colors of green, which is their lawn striping. They do that also. And the reason, no, the reason you can always see that at a baseball field is because there is, there are lights all around you. So because of the stadium lighting, is 360 degrees. So therefore, no matter what angle you're at, you'll always see the stripes. Uh, golf courses do this also. They don't, use, they don't use lighting, but they also they do all the lawn striping also, especially main, main, mainly for the fairways. So anyways, uh, I just did a full length video so you guys can you know, fast forward as needed through the, through, through the lawn, but I, I figured this is to be the best way so you can actually watch me go up and down and up and down each pass. And you, for the front yard, like I said before, I've, I do double stripes, double wide stripes, just to make it a little more, looks, looks like that professional look, like, uh, you know, to make it wider. So, so I hope you guys like the video. The reason why you may have heard in my other videos regarding lawn striping is that it takes one third longer than normal cutting the grass is because of the fact that I mow double wide stripes. So in the backyard, I only mow single stripes and you know, it takes just the normal length. So in the front, here's exactly what I do. So this, this is what makes me get that double wide stripe. So it's more professional looking, you know, makes it look like that real big lawnmower did it. So just like the golf courses use. So this is basically what I do. If I was going to start on this section here, so what I would do is I would, I would do one stripe in this direction. So this would be my first cut going through this way. And then I would end up going back around and then mowing a second stripe in the same direction. So this would be too wide. Then for the next cut, I would go this way coming back back up. So now these would be either darker bar, darker light stripes and this would be the opposite effect because it's going the other direction. So and then I would after I'm done with this step here, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll mow in between this and this. So this way you kind of hide the we'll call it the tire marks from the lawnmower from these two tracks. So I'll go right, I'll go right in the middle of this. So I'll go right through here. That's what I found looks the best over the years. And then after I do this, then I, I pretty much go back to the second stripe going up now. So you're gonna see this over and over in the video and feel free to fast forward. You know, there's a lot of, it's just me cutting the grass as I normally do. So, but you'll see, you know, step by step, up and down and up and down, you know, how I get the double wide stripes. So just keep, in, keep track as far as which, which stripes. It just takes a little time to practice, but, you know, after you do it for a little bit, you know, it'll become second nature and become, you will definitely love the after effect. All right.
Okay everyone, now that we're done mowing the lawn, this is what it should look like. So we have our stripes and we have our deepest, I like to do the uh, deepest, darkest, greenest line. So I'll go over this a couple of times. Don't tell anybody though, because that's a big secret, okay? So the more times you go over it, the darker green it'll be. So it's not too much different between this line over here and this green over here, but you could see a little difference that I went over it a few times, just to really show off that domination line between me and the neighbor. So very important, this is where I do a lot of different things to get the, the dividing line between us keeping it very distinguishable. And you can see it all the way through here. It goes all the way through. And this is what the stripes will look like from the other side. So this is also a very nice view from here. So right now the sun is kind of above us, so depending, so it's gonna have stripes, bo stripes both ways. If you're looking directly into the sun, you usually will not see any stripes. Okay. So this is that domination line again from the other side. And there are our stripes. Looks beautiful. Now let me show you one thing. We just mowed our lawn, so I'm gonna show you what you should see. So if we look at some of this grass here, if we get down up in here, we'll go real low here. So this grass here, should have a nice top to it so see how the tops of tops of this is very is not brown at all that's ideally what we're looking for we're not looking for any brown tips on here and you can see the tops of all these are very light very green so that's ideally what we want if you see brown on the top then that means that your lawnmower need, usually needs to be sharpened. <laughs> okay, so again, this is what we're looking for. Very little, no ripping at all on the end. You're gonna see a little bit of brown, but very, very little. It should be a nice clean cut. But here's the difference in the stripe here. So here, I'm not sure if you can tell how much you can tell, but this grass is all matted, it's, push, it's being pushed push that way versus the grass that's over here is actually leaning towards us. So that's the difference between one stripe and the next. And again, remember mine are double wide, so I have to show you the difference. So the, ideally, the whatever you use, the lawn striping, you wanna make sure it's, it's heavy. So that's idea. With lawn striping, it's all about pushing the grass down in different directions. So you push it down this way, and then the other, the next stroke back, you come this way, and it's pushing it down this way. So the grass just looks in different directions because of the sun, and the sun emphasizes that. So once again, this is my backyard. I only do a single stripe on the backyard. I do a double stripe in the front, double wide, to make it have more of an effect. You know, like see, this is the single stripe. It's not as drastic of, a, of an effect. I just think it looks better with double, double wide stripes. And as for the striper that I use, I did a do-it-yourself little quick, quick striper here. Here's, uh, here's what I got. So this is the piece of pipe that I attached to the back flap of the lawnmower. And it's held down by zip ties. You just drill a hole through here. And this piece just weighs it down. So, and then I have a couple caps on the end, cap on each end. My piece is roughly 18 inches. I, I try to get the biggest, but not to roll, but not to go past the wheels. Because just in case you, you know, push it, you know, it goes underneath the lawnmower, I don't want it to, you know, catch on the wheels. So, what I, what I put inside is, so I use the pipe because it's thicker than, you know, thicker and heavier. And that's ideally what you want. You know, some people use PVC pipe, but this, from what I found, seems to be the best because it's the heaviest. And then you fill it with sand. I filled mine with sand, but you know, some people can fill theirs with, you know, stones, pebbles, stuff like that. So we have some, a lot of, a lot of real big plants going on today. I'm not sure what. The, the 
get some smoke shows later. Very cool, very good view. Probably has the things. The launch rubber that I use. And just to show you guys that this actually will not get cut up on the blade, even if you go backwards. A lot of people say, oh well, you know, this doesn't, you know, these aren't good because of the fact that it could get caught up in the blade, and if you don't believe me, I'll show you that it does not get caught up. So it is safe to use, and you don't have to worry about it going backwards and getting caught up in the blade, like some people say. So they do sell similar similar things except a lot more expensive like uh toro toro has one i think it's on amazon for roughly ranges between 90 90 and 100 dollars but you know again i'm a finance guy and i like to save money so if i can get similar results without it and i think the lawn speaks for itself the results here so i got good stripes already and you know this cost me about 10 bucks so let me know what you guys think if you're doing something similar or that you found much better results using the Toro. I've tried both and I can't, it, the Toro does work a little bit better, but with these results and for this price, I really can't complain.